All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's gonna to be an updated tutorial on a video I did four months ago, roughly, where I was showing you how to stream like YouTube and Spotify and all that through your microphone. That video was good and it was well received, but it's kind of outdated at this point because even uploading that video when it when I did, it was kind of outdated because the software I really relied on was Audio Router. And Audio Router is an outdated software and it really doesn't work all that well because it's a little, it's old, it's three years old. And then it also adds another variable for confusion and breakage and just frustration if something goes wrong. So with this video today, we're going to cut out Audio Router, but I'm just going to go through the steps again. So if you already did watch that video, I'm going to put a timestamp right here on the screen to tell you to skip so you don't have to use Audio Router and you can skip the whole installation process. So with that said, let's get started. The first thing we're going to need to download is Voice Meter Banana. Run the EXE from here, install that, and then also download the virtual audio cable uh, zip file from right here. So you will get two files. In this case, I have, this is what you'll see. You'll have a VB driver pack 43.zip and you'll have a Voice Meter Pro setup. The zip file, right click and extract it. And it should just give you a folder and Voice Meter Pro. We're just going to run that as administrator. When that runs as administrator, make sure you install that. And then same thing goes for the Voice uh, Virtual Audio Cable. Run that as administrator. Then install that from there. It's going to ask you to restart your PC, but I recommend you wait until after the video is over for that to uh, completely work. But in this case, Voice Meter just crashed because I opened that up again. So anyway. From there, we're going to open up Voice Meter, like I just showed you, or you just saw. You can do that from the recently added tab right here. It should be like in the top from when you just installed it. If it's not there, it'll be down in your list of programs under the V tab, VB Audio, under Voice Meter Banana. If, it, if you don't find it there either, you can go to the Libraries tab, and then go to your uh, C drive, Program Files x86. Go a little bit down so you see VB and then open that, and then voice meter, and then you're gonna to wanna to find the voicemeterpro.exe. This is the file you wanna open if you're gonna run voice meter banana. This is the original voice meter, this is voice meter banana. So from there, we're gonna open up voice meter. This is what it looks like. It's, um, it's pretty standard software if you never used it before. But basically you have three hardware channel inputs. You have your desktop audio, and then you have your hardware outputs. We're just going to configure this right away. It's the hardest step. But anyway, hardware channel one, make sure that's your microphone, whatever you're using. You're going to make sure that you're not using A1 and you're only using B1. This is the virtual, or this is the output. So you're going to have your microphone sent to an output channel over here, which is this channel right here. And then your cable output, which is going to be your virtual audio cable. Make sure that is checked for A1 and B1 at least. If you do have more than one, output device, like a, say a desktop set of speakers, you're going to want to have at least two checked so that you have your headphones on channel one, and then your speakers on channel two. If you do have a third virtual audio cable, you can use Discord here, but I do not have one for this video, so we will not be using it. This one is your desktop audio device. You do not want to send it to B1 as that's going to be sending it to your microphone channel, which will then loop it back and it'll be very annoying and very un unappealing. So we want to send this to our headphones, which is A1, and then to our desktop speakers, which is A2. We're not going to be using voice meter aux, so we're just going to uncheck all of those. And then underneath our headphone channels, like I said, set them up for what you're using. And don't be fooled by all these codecs. They all pretty much do the same thing. It's just different ways of encoding the audio. Um, if you do get static voices or robotic voices with one of these, just swap to another one and it should go away. Then we're going to finish off in the top right here, go to menu, make sure that you run it at system startup and then under system settings, make sure that you have it set to 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz. This really only matters for your sound settings. So we'll just go through that in a second. I recommend that you just make sure that it's the same as whatever your sound settings are using. So we're just going to go through that right now. So right click on your sound devices, go to sounds and then from here, Make sure your playback devices are set at voice meter input and then make sure your speakers, whatever your main headphones are, for example, your uh, whatever I'm using, I'm using this, we're going to go to our properties and we're going to go to the advanced tab 
and make sure it's set at whatever you set it in voice meter. In my case, it's 24 bit, 44.1 kilohertz. And then same thing goes for my speakers. If you do have more than one device, make sure it's set at the same 44.1 kilohertz. Cable input, make sure that's set at the same 44.1 kilohertz and 24 bit. If you are using 16 bit, 44.1 kilohertz, that's fine too. But in my case, we're using 24 bit. You just want to make sure that they're all the same. Voice meter input as your default device, and then go to the advanced tab, make sure that's the same. And we're just going to do the same thing again in the recording settings. Your microphone, whichever that is, in my case here, properties, advanced, make sure this is stereo. You want to make sure it's stereo because, or if your microphone is only one channel, that's fine too. But I recommend if you are, if you're going to use the, uh, if, you're, if you want, if you have the option for stereo, go with it even though it might be fake stereo, but anyway. Two channels, 24 bit, 44.1 kilohertz for me. Cable output, this has to be stereo, there's no exceptions. If it is not stereo, the audio will sound very, very bad. It'll sound really flat and kind of muted. So two channels is a must. And then voice meter output as your default device. What this means, this is correlating to the B1 channel here. So voice meter output is B1 and voice meter aux output is B2. So voice meter aux is the input channel. This is voice meter, uh, voice meter aux input channel and voice meter input channel. And then these are, these two down here are the voice, these two channels right here for the output channels. Make sure that's set as your default device within properties, go to the advanced tab and make sure two channels are set up for that and it's the same hertz ratio as whatever you set up in voice meter recommend to under communications you do nothing set this here so that when uh, other sounds are playing it does not reduce the other sounds but then with that that's pretty much it voice meter is all set up and done we just have to now set up windows for the virtuality cable so to do that we're going to right click on our sound settings again we're going to go to open sound settings from here you can also do that by going to the start menu going to the gear icon, then going to your system settings, and then going to sounds. And then from here, we're going to go to advanced sound options. Click on that. And you'll see we have our Spotify here. This is not coming up because we have it. Um, ow, because we have it. Uh, we haven't played it yet. So now it appears. So in this case, we're going to set our Spotify to cable input and our electronic electronomania to cable input as well. It'll usually be set on default, but we're going to set it to cable input. When that means, it's going to be playing through this channel now. This is cable output. It's playing to the input channel, and we're recording the output channel. So now, when we play it... So if it's a little too loud for you... can adjust the volume accordingly. I'm talking over right now, which is pretty cool. I can adjust it even further to go down a little bit too, which is pretty good. Okay, and now that's all set up. It works perfectly fine. I would play Spotify, but that's pretty much all copyrighted music, so I really can't. But anyway, we're gonna go into Discord now, just so we can get that all set up. So from Discord, we're gonna open our video or user settings over here. We're gonna go to our voice and video. Make sure that this is set up as voice meter output, and then our output device is default. And then this is where it gets really important under the input mode. Do not use uh, the automatic uh, sensitivity option. Make sure you set it manually to whatever you think is appropriate. In my case, it's gonna be negative 50. I do recommend that everybody use negative 50, but um, it can be different. But if you're gonna play music through like Chrome or something like that, negative 50 is a good option because voice meter if you set it to like negative 12 or negative 15, it still will pick it up. But if you set it, um, if you're playing it lower, like at negative 24 or negative 27 with the scroll wheel here, then you're going to want to set it to roughly negative 65. But if you do, the reason why I wouldn't say using this, it, it automatically determines is because if your microphone is on the quieter side, it will have to uh, lower the gain input and then when the music plays it'll up it and then it just get all like funky and all that nasty stuff so yeah this is good negative 50 and then if we play it again 
negative 15. We're going to set it to negative 12 here. We're going to look in Discord. And it's going off. That's pretty good. Yeah, so that's pretty much that. If you do want to set it up with Steam, I'll go through that right now as well. What about taking a little bit of time, log in there. Okay, from here on Steam, we're going to go to the Friends and Chat tab here. We're going to go to our gear icon in the top right. We're going to go to Voice. We're going to make sure this is set as our... It should be the default device by default, but I always just change it manually just to make sure I know what works. So Voice Meter Output. Make sure the volume is set as the regular one, and then make sure it's open mic. And then, yeah, it's pretty much pretty good. That's all I got to do. So, yeah. Um, it's pretty much it with Steam. Other applications, I don't have them installed, but it would be pretty much the same. Just make sure you set it manually to whatever you're using. But yeah, hopefully that helps you guys. Leave any comments, questions, or concerns down below. Link everything in the description for you as always. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.